In the above video, we went over the stay. This is a, a different exercise that ha combines a couple elements of the stay, but this one is to just get the dog to focus on the human's face. Now, this is different because in the stay, the dog does not have to focus on the human in the face uh, in order to receive the reward because eventually the human's going to go beyond line of sight. I'm going to lure her in position. All right, so I want her like right here in front of me. I have a handful of treats here and one treat in this hand. I'm putting both my hands on my thighs. Duke. Nine. Seats. So what I'm trying to do is I'm waiting for her to give me eye contact voluntarily. That's hard for watch. Seats. Seats. Watch. 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 Okay, stay. So I'm not giving you any commands. Come here, dude. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> seats. Seats. Yeah, so we'll give you some treats even though you interrupted the exercise because you're just such a good dog. So basically what we're going to do for this exercise is we don't want to cue the dog at all. We want the dog to look up voluntarily. As soon as it does, I hold the treat up between my eyes and, their, and her eyes. And then I go in a straight line towards her head and I say the word watch as second it touches her lips. Now again, you can come up with a different command word if you want. Now what will happen is eventually, if you notice at first, she would just focus on my paw, on my hands. Right. After I did it a couple times, she started coming up and looking at me faster and faster. What we want her to do, seat, seats, seats, um, is learn that when I give the command, I have to focus on the human and look at the human in the face. Now dogs can't focus on two things at the same time. So if I'm focused on, oh, there's a new person coming in and I hear focus, or watch, excuse me, then I'm going to sit down and turn and look at my human. Now it's going to take practice. Like you noticed earlier, you asked me how that hiss was working when she thought somebody was outside. The more we use it, the more effective it becomes. Now it's, the hiss is more effective than the first couple times I used it. So this exercise, you really have to practice it similar to the stay in a quiet environment when there are no other dogs. So I would do it sit with each dog separately, probably just with her, but it wouldn't hurt to do it with him too. Um, and then you want to do it where he's in the room, but on the other side of the room, or with the radio on, or with the gardener outside. And do it again, like the stay eventually, while those activities are going on. Now, as, at first, as soon as she looked at me, I held the treat up and then went to her face and said, into her mouth and said, watch. After a while, I would go, slow it down. So you want to linger and keep her eye contact, or not necessarily eye contact, but facial contact for long, longer and longer periods of time. Sight? There we go. Watch. I'll give you one, even though you're being nosy. Um, but this exercise is great because it helps them learn to sit and look at you and ignore other things. Now you really, just like the, the leadership exercise, we have to practice it multiple times and under different levels of difficulty so the dog is able to, to do it on command under duress and under, you know, when there's things that she normally would want to react to. Sights. Um, so that's basically the watch exercise.